Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have Goldie Box. It has been a minute since I got this one. Um, I have skipped, she skipped, I think all of winter, except for you could get a pre-done box. So this is, um, Goldie Box is done by Jess. Um, she has a channel on YouTube and she made her own box based on like her experience with boxes, etc. And what I love about this box is it's a hundred percent customizable. Now there were some changes. Um, and maybe this is winter. I'm so confused. I get so confused. Let's see. Yeah. Cause this can't be spring. So this is, must be winter. So maybe it was fall that we skipped. I don't know anymore. But yeah, this is winter. Um, anyway, so it's a hundred percent customizable. There were some changes. She is, it is a, you know, woman owned business. It is her. She has a full time job and a life on top of it. So things can go awry, go slow, have bumps and stuff along the way. And so she made some changes. We used to get 16 choices to choose from. Now we're down to 12. There used to be some silver bear and gold bear perks. And honestly, I think those got better. So there are, um, Gold Bears, I believe, get seven items of choice and then three bonus items. Silver Bear gets five items of choice and then two bonus items. And then Bronze Bears choose three and get one bonus. Today, I'm a Silver Bear. What I like now, though, is that there used to be an item that was only for them. But now, um, like, say I'm a Silver Bear, I really wanted a sixth item. Um, now, I can buy that. So... Once all the boxes have customized, if there's extra, they come out. And I think it was a really reasonable price. It was like $10 or $11 you could get each item for. So I really like that. I love that there's bonus items. And I love that you get to customize. She spoils all the items on her channel, which is everything proof ahead of time. And I like that. So you can kind of look at it, learn about it, and kind of like perseverate on it. So let's go ahead and get in the box. Um, nice tissue paper. Um, I'm a little like kind of wonky on prices. So, um, I will try to have her website linked down below for prices. Um, also I would say for this box, again, she's doing it all herself. The value of the items is a little lower. I mean, it's not going to be a fat fit fund where you have a big corporation, but I really was super excited for all the things this month. Um, first up, we have a sugar scrub, which I have been out of and I haven't bought again because of this. I believe there were two cents and I got orange dream and this is a 12 ounce sugar scrub. It is hefty. This is $11.99 value. I'm super excited. We use this in the shower all the time. Um, and there we go. Smells really good. So I'm excited for this. This is going to go right in the shower and um, be used. So super excited. I Areti Athene. I'm not sure. Areti and Athene. Never heard of that brand. Um, but super excited to have Sugar Scrub. I use it on my legs before I shave. Up next, we have a pack of five sheet masks. There are $12 value. And there were two varieties to choose from. I, these are by Avatara. And I got the Chill Out, which is calming, which is perfect for me because redness is a problem. I don't know what is going on in my nose. It has been, I look like Rudolph. I mean, it's like all red. I feel like I have like one pimple that then turned my whole nose red. I have no idea. So I could definitely use some Chill Out masks. My nose needs to chill out. Um, so calming aloe mask. So I absolutely love masks. Let's see, water, glycerin, uh, Centella Asiatica, which is one of my favorite ingredients, is like the third ingredient. Um, ginkgo leaf extract, licorice root, which is good for um, evening skin tone, aloe, I love aloe, sodium hyaluronate, love the ingredients, super excited. I was honestly tempted to get the other mask too. I forget what variety it was. Um, but I was very tempted to get that. Very excited to get five masks with such good ingredients. Very happy. 
with that purchase. Um, next up, we have Face Tori, which you guys know I get Face Tori um, on the semi-regular whenever I need masks. Um, this is Moon Velvet Sleeping Mask. This is probably, well, for my box, it's the most expensive item. It was not, oh no, it's not. It's my second most expensive item. So this is $21.95. Super excited to try this. Um, I generally love Face Tory products. Their masks are some of the best sheet masks ever. Super cute, comes with a little plastic spoon. I also love their packaging. This is a pretty blue. Now this is plastic, it is not glass, but it is a very pretty container. Moon Velvet Sleeping Mask, Shea Butter, and Azuline. I'm not quite sure. I feel like Azuline helps calm or with redness or something. Um, so it is a cream. I would almost want to say there's a hint of green in there, but I don't know. So I would say it's thicker, but not, like, it is not super thick. I've definitely had thicker creams, but it does feel very moisturizing. Um, so I'm excited for that. Let's see if I can see any ingredients here lately. I feel like this is Brian's Moistures Calms Velvet Texture. All right, here we go. Capri triglycerides, niacinamide, love that. Shea butter, um, let's see. Beeswax, I'm not sure that's really relevant. Lavender oil, Camilla Sensus Leaf Water, Licorice Root, Sounds like really good ingredients. I am super excited to try that. I will say, I do feel like one of the reasons my skin is angry is that in the fall, I was just lucky enough to get a bunch of really good moisturizers. And I feel like I need to get back in a routine. I had not been doing my clay mask, which I think is like I have angry pores. Um, but anyway, I'm excited to try that. That's one of the things, I guess, when you get boxes and try things, sometimes your skin gets mad at you for trying too many things. But I love the packaging on this. Super excited um, for this item. Up next, we have eye cream. I desperately was in need of eye cream, and that's, that's why I picked it. Up Circle Eye Cream, Cucumber, Hyaluronic Acid, and Coffee. I absolutely love coffee as an ingredient. Uh, this is $20 value. Caffeine is supposed to help depuff. So I am super excited for this. I also love that it is not another pot to dip my, dip my finger in. Um, it is like a little squeak, like a pump. So I am super in love with that packaging. I love that it's a pump. So I just get tired of having to open and close the little pot where you have to dip your finger in. So super excited. I almost feel like, yeah, this is definitely a glass container. So very excited for this. Sunflower seed oil is another ingredient. Sodium hyaluronate. Anyway, super, super excited for the eye cream. And then I got this to put in a giveaway. I had packed up the giveaway because I wasn't thinking this was going to come in time, but it is. So this is, this is the most expensive item she offered this particular thing. So the um, prices, in case you're wondering, of the certain things range from the cheapest item was $11.99, and this is the most expensive. Five individual eyeshadows. There wasn't a fifth item that I was like super, super like passionate about. I almost got the candle. So I thought I would get this and then I could put it in a giveaway. Um, I could also keep one or two if I like a shade. I do not wear um, eyeshadow often. So there are five eyeshadows. Let's see. And I was trying to see if I could see the colors without pulling them all out. I was trying to see. Maybe this is all going in the giveaway. Okay, here's a couple that are lighter. All right. So these are taped shut. So I would hate to open fully the ones that are going to go in the giveaway. It looks like the other ones are darker colors. I can't tell. But let's see if we can open this one and see. So, so these are cute little discs. Like very petite um, I will say, I, I don't know, like I was, I mean, I knew they were going to be the little, I don't know what you would call these. 
Okay, this one will definitely go in a giveaway. It is way, way too dark for me. Um, very pretty, kind of a light shimmer. Um, I would say almost like a coffee, a coffee color. So I don't know. I'm inter These little discs are interesting. They're very petite. I don't know. Would that have a $5 value? I don't know. Um, that is in the color headliner. So that one's definitely going to go in a giveaway. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take the time to open all of them. This one looks most promising for me. I just, if I do an eyeshadow, it's a very light kind of shimmer. Um, I just don't, I think eyeshadows, bronzer, blush, I am so not comfortable with my ability to put it on. So this is a lighter colored disc. I will say the packaging feels very minimal, like very, okay. Sadly, I think this is not shimmer. So it is just kind of a taupe. So that one will also go in the giveaway. They may all go in a giveaway and that is totally fine. Um, I love getting eyeshadows in boxes because I love passing them on in my giveaways. I feel like that's something people seem to really like. Um, and I'm totally happy to have an item to give away. These all, um, and I'm sure she opened them in her video. Like I said, I purposely got these for a giveaway thinking that if I kept one or two, that would be fine. Um, All right, definitely we're going with like a coffee taupe kind of theme. So that will definitely go in the giveaway. Um, again, totally fine with me. I don't even know if I'm going to open the last two. Otherwise, we'll be here all night opening eyeshadows. Um, but super excited for this box this time. Looks like we have fire and ice and into the woods. And they both look like darker colors. So these are just all going to go in the giveaway, which, like I said, 100% fine with me. Um, and then we have the extras. And I think that is kind of really the element. Uh, besides choosing your products, I really like the giveaways or the extras. Um, I do find it fascinating sometimes what she chooses for which category. The gold free freebie item, bonus item is a lip balm and for i mean and it could this is oh, a 22 dollar value so i guess that makes sense i was thinking lip balm is cheaper but that was a 22 dollar value um and see i will say i feel like she gave one of the better items for the bronze i don't know so the bronze item is this very heavy duty really good quality feeling tray now trinket trays are not my thing i don't generally display them I don't know why I like this one so much. Um, it says stay wild and maybe that's it. I love nature. This also just feels super good quality. It is 100% metal and with kind of a lacquer on the front. I just think it's unique. I don't think I've seen what metal like this and I kind of like the stay wild. Like I feel like I don't know. For some reason, this sticks with me. I really like it. This is a $12.99 value. Um, I don't know. I like this. I feel like Stay Wild for me kind of is like you have to keep your sense of adventure. Go out, try new things, do things. So for some reason, I really like this tray. I guess I'm going to try to find a use for it. I don't use them typically to put like jewelry on, but I really like this one. I'm surprised that the silver one didn't get put for the bronze just because I guess it's a lesser value. This is a $5 value. I'm probably going to slip this into the giveaway box. <clears throat> um, it is very unique. I have never heard of something like this. Single use soap. So there are um, li oh, 100 little sheets of soap. And it's a safe and convenient way to wash your hands on the go. Simply use dry hands to take the soap sheet from the box. Wet your hands, soap, lather, and rinse. They're talking about camping, sporting events, shopping. So camping, I can kind of see. Um, this would be really helpful for camping. I can see putting this in your camping kit. And then you just need water so you're not lugging around like liquid soap. Again, I'm probably going to put this in a giveaway. Super cute packaging. Very unique. I just don't feel like I need a sheet of soap to carry with me. 
anyway, like I said, I am super excited about this box. Um, the four things I am keeping, I am over the moon for. And I really, for whatever reason, I am not a trinket tray person, but I love the colors and I don't know. I like that it's metal. That's kind of unique. Usually they're glass. And I kind of, I don't know, the stay wild. I, I don't know. I like it for some reason. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.